There's been some major progress in the Brisbane transport network with a milestone being hit on the Brisbane Metro. In this video, we're gonna have a quick chat about the Brisbane Metro. What is it? How is it going to help or hinder Brisbane? And what does it mean for investors and the property market and potential areas that might benefit from this transport infrastructure? Now the big milestone that's just been hit is they're testing some of the Brisbane Metro buses as we speak. These are electric vehicles and they're looking to roll out about 60 of these vehicles by 2024. They're gonna potentially add another 40 vehicles if the program is successful and add some more routes. They're also currently doing some development work at the University of Queensland at the St. Lucia station where there's going to be quick charging for the Metro buses and the buses will be able to charge up in about six minutes. So let's dive into a little bit more of the detail around the Brisbane Metro, and then we're gonna discuss the locations that are really going to benefit from this network. So it says here, the first stage of the Brisbane Metro is underway and will provide two new Brisbane Metro lines connecting 18 stations along dedicated busways between Eight Mile Plains and Roma Street and Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital and the University of Queensland. All of Brisbane will benefit from the greater transport network with easy links between the Metro, bus and train services. Now we're gonna skip over some of the stuff here and take a look at the timeline. Now the concept for the Brisbane Metro was announced in 2016 and the business case released in 2017. Since then, they've hit a number of major milestones with the most recent one being in 2022 with some of the pilot vehicles being out across the city and testing taking place on these electric vehicles. The remaining key milestones are here on screen. So in mid 2023, the Brisbane Metro Depot construction should be completed. Then they're gonna put some of the Metro vehicles into operation late 2023, and then they'll actually have those services available to the public with about 60 vehicles running along these 18 stations. So now you understand what the Brisbane Metro is and what the remaining key milestones are, let's take a look at the stations that are going to be affected and how this actually might benefit the suburbs within that 10 kilometer ring from the CBD. So you can see here on the south side of Brisbane, you've got the Metro Depot, which is where the electric buses will be parked and housed overnight. Now you can see Metro 1 runs from 8 Mile Plains to Roma Street. So this is starting here at 8 Mile Plains, running along Upper Macravat towards Holland Park, Green Slopes, Veranda, all the way into South Bank, Marta, Cultural Centre, King George, and finally Broma Street Station. You can see the other Metro 2 line runs from the Royal Women's Brisbane Hospital to the University of Queensland. So that's hitting Hurston, Kelvin Grove, Normanby, Roma Street Station, Cultural Centre, South Bank, Marta, PA, Bogger Road, and finally UQ. Now the other really interesting thing here that's on this map is actually the Cross River Rail, which runs from Yuronga down past Wollongabba, all the way across the city towards Bowen Hills. So these key transport projects are going to change Brisbane and allow people to get access across the city in a quick manner. Now, the council has been saying that people don't always check timetables and this transport is gonna come every five to 10 minutes. So the ease and accessibility and knowledge of these routes is gonna become widespread and it's going to make transport infrastructure a lot easier here in Brisbane. Now you can actually see here on the north side that this network doesn't actually run out too far into the northern suburbs. It stops around the Bowen Hills, around the Hurston, Windsor area, which is only a few kilometers north of the CBD. It stretches a little bit further south along the Metro One line towards Eight Mile Plains. Now Eight Mile Plains is around about 15 kilometers from the Brisbane CBD. So that's a lot further than the three, four, five kilometers that the north side of the Metro runs compared to the south side. So those key suburbs in Eight Mile Plains, Upper Mount Gravatt, Holland Park, Green Slopes, and Miranda running in towards the CBD are really going to benefit from the Metro line. Now there's actually another bunch of suburbs that are going to continue to benefit from these networks which aren't directly in the suburb that the station is located. For example, Tarragini will benefit from the Metro line. Nathan, Salisbury, these suburbs are only one suburb away and within a short drive, walking distance, or bike ride to these major Metro locations. The reason I wanted to highlight this transport infrastructure and the major milestone of the Brisbane Metro is some people may have never heard of it and it's important to know what's exactly going on with council and what plans they're actually rolling out. A lot of things go into that planning phase but sometimes they don't reach completion. What we're seeing here with the Brisbane Metro is they're actually undertaking testing on the buses and they're looking to reach their target milestone of late 2024 to actually roll out the network. That's really exciting for those people who have bought in these suburbs or close to these locations 
organizations that are going to be able to use this infrastructure to potentially get to work, potentially get to university, get to their job, or just to access the city for big events, say at Suncorp Stadium or in South Bank. These types of projects really benefit the city, so it's going to be interesting to see if they can hit their major milestones. So the government is spending around $1.2 billion to complete and undertake this project. Now, I don't know about you, but $1.2 billion to expand and build the bus network, which is essentially like a train network because it has around 100 passengers and runs every five minutes. It's really great for Brisbane's economy and great for allowing people access to the CBD. What do you think of the Brisbane Metro? Leave a comment down below. Make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, head over to purposeproperty.com.au if you're looking for for a Brisbane buyer's agent and click this video over here for more things real estate, renovating and financial freedom. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.